everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Brie. Hi, if you're new here or hey, welcome back if you've been around for a little while. Um, today I'm going to do another first on my channel and that is going to be an unboxing video for Fairy Loot. So this is not sponsored or endorsed or any of that stuff by Fairy Loot. They don't know I'm doing this. I am just a small fish in a sea of people who they don't know. But I have been a Fairy Loot subscriber um, on and off for the past going on three years, I think now. Um, I started getting them in about 2017 and I have always been very impressed with the boxes that I receive. So I decided finally that I am going to share what I have in this box with you guys. Um, this is just kind of a trial for me. If you guys really aren't interested in these kind of videos, then let me know down below and I'm not going to make them anymore. But if you do like them, if you'd like to see what I get in these little boxes, or if you just in general like unboxing videos, let me know and we'll keep doing it. As I mentioned, this video is not sponsored. Um, so I can leave the link for Fairy Loot in my description, but if I do and you click on it, I don't get anything out of it other than hopefully happiness in your mailbox shortly thereafter if you decide to subscribe. Fairloot recently started doing a um, US shipping place. So initially they're, they are based out of the UK and their shipping rates were kind of expensive. You would typically end up spending 10 to $12 on shipping to the United States. But um, in the past couple months, they have released their United States shipping location. So the rates have been cheaper. I think this ends up still being about $42 after shipping and tax, but most of the time I find that they're really worth it. So for this, this is the December Defying the Odds box. Um, I did kind of accidentally purchase this because I was going to cancel before the holidays and I forgot. Um, so the fandoms in this aren't necessarily um, fandoms that I'm in. And I don't even know what the book is. I successfully avoided spoilers for Fairy Loot this entire month, which is crazy considering how late these boxes end up shipping because of the holidays. So this is going to be a whole exciting experience for all of us because I haven't seen anything in this box. So let's go. Okay, so to open, we have, as always, the beautiful artwork on the artwork, car artwork card. There we go. Um, which they always have. I, I believe they do change the um, artist's. I actually really like this one. It's very pretty. It looks like airbrushed or water painted and I like that a lot. On the back of the card is always spoilers so I'm just not going to read that because I want to know what's in this box. Ooh, okay. So the first thing it looks like tea. Oh. So it's Ead Black Orange Tea. I love orange teas. <laughs> um, specifically I have a chocolate orange tea upstairs and amazing. So I'm actually excited. It's black leaf that is blended with orange peels and scented with natural orange oil. Awesome. It has instructions on the back. The packaging is really cute. This is actually like, it's a really nice packaging for the tea. I'm very impressed. Like usually we get tins or something, but I really like this little envelope. So that's the first thing in here. The second thing in the box that I see are these socks that are inspired by the Wrath of the Dong. They're Califa, Califa socks. I have the Wrath and Dawn on my shelf to be read. This is what I mean by that I'm not really in these fandoms, but I'm happy that they're socks. Although, I got three different assortments of socks for Christmas, so I am I'm running out of room. But I'll definitely wear these either way. I love them, and I kind of like the pattern on them too. <laughs> Next, we have... Oh my gosh. Okay. So this is from Pierce Brown's Golden Sun. Have not read it. Um, a little pouch in here. Looks like, ooh, that smells really bad. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's not open the pouch. Um, it's a pouch, uh, probably a pencil case kind of thing. I mean, it seems like it's really nice material, but I'm just not in this fandom. And honestly, if I look off camera to my left right now, I have two pouches that I absolutely love and they're just sitting there collecting things because I don't know what to use for them. So, that's the one downfall about getting these boxes. You never know what's going to be in them and if they're going to be useful. Uh, like I said, very nice quality. I really liked this kind of faded bird thing, but considering that I'm not in the fandom, it's not the best object in this box, according to me. So next we have um, some really cute things. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm okay with this. So this is, um, it's a Fire Queen pin and on it, it says Fire Breathing Bitch Queen. I don't know if that's going to work. I'm, I'm new at this, guys. 
be gentle on me. Um, but it's from Throne of Glass, which I've mentioned before. Love-hate relationship with it. And then I put these back down. But these are... There's a slug. I don't know what this is from, though. Oh, my gosh. How cute are you? Oh, Skyward. Um, I don't even care that I've never read this book. And there's a chance I might not read it. But look how cute that slug is. Oh, my gosh. So these are magnetic bookmarks. They're actually super cute. And per to be honest, this actually is like a perfect size for a bookmark because I don't typically use the magnetic ones because they end up either being too big or too heavy. And when I'm use reading paperback books, they tend to like rip the pages. So these are seem to be actually perfect size for that. So I'm actually excited. So those are those two um, items. Like I said, I really like the pin, even though I'm, I'm a mix on the, the throne of glass. But I, I ended up, I guess, enjoyed the end of the series. So I'll probably keep the pin. I just have to figure out what to do with it. Okay. So as always, um, this, I think it was either this year or last year, they started including um, tarot cards where they'll switch the artists who do the tarot cards every box. Um, I have a small collection of them that I'm not going to end up using just because I don't think I'm going to end up collecting all of them unless they like maybe put them in the store and I'm able to. But as far as these goes, I wonder, this might be... An Ember in the Ashes? Maybe. Oh man. I don't want to look at the I don't want to look at this, but I wish it would just tell me who it's by. But it's not, so I'm not gonna keep looking at this because I don't want to be spoiled. But I don't know. I think these might be from the Ember in the Ashes series, but I could be completely wrong. But these are beautiful. Um, I really have liked their tarot cards. I just don't always know who the fandoms are if I don't follow the artists. And I'm, I have a really hard time if I haven't read the books. This this series, I have read the first book. That's why I think it might be. But, it, you know, I don't know. Anyway, next. Okay, so the next thing we have in here looks like a cloth of some sort. It is. Oh, is it a washcloth? What are you? Um, it says, my favorite game called How Many Chapters Can I Read in One Night? Oh, oh, my favorite game is How Many Chapters. This is actually really cute. I think, I don't know if it's like a washcloth or like a, a hand cloth, like a dish cloth or something like that, but I'll have to like look up and actually see what it is. But this is really nice. Actually, this is like one of the more practical things they have sent, which is um, always appreciated because I like home goods since I'm an adult now. <laughs> um, and I typically have a harder time using the knickknacky or like some of like this, like the, the pouches, for instance, like I can't always use those just because like I don't have a, a greater purpose. Maybe I can end up using one for work, but yeah. Anywho. Okay. So this is really cool and I don't even know what this is yet, but I do know that they were including an advanced reader copy. So they did. Wow. This is a hefty this is a nice one. Holy cow. Okay, so Wicked As You Wish by Rin Chupeco. She wrote The Bone Rip. Wow. She wrote The Bone Witch, which I have not read yet. Um, and I want to. And I have no idea what this book's about. Um, Magical Kingdom of Avalon. An Evil Snow Girl. Is this a retelling? Hmm. An alternate, an unforgettable alternate history fairy tale series. Okay, I'm sold. Huh. The chat, I'm just looking, and I apologize because now I'm like taking up just precious time, but I'm just looking in like, in which a kiss does the exact opposite. Like that's like really cute chapter titles. So yeah, I mean, I, this is a heavy, heavy arc. So I'm actually really surprised that they included this just because of how heavy it is. But that's also awesome. I'm really excited to be able to have an arc of a book that's not coming out till March. Win. Oh, now we have something else. Oh, cute. There's Game of Thrones pencils. Oh my gosh, that's really cute. Okay. So it looks like I can only see the green one says growing strong. The gray one says winter's coming. I'm trying to flip it to see if I can. Oh, man. Oh, fire and blood and hear me roar. Okay. So they're all like like four of like the major houses. Um, I don't know if you guys can see. But I actually really like pencils and I use them a lot for work because when I'm writing in my work planner, um, it's so much easier to erase a sessions if people cancel on me rather than trying to cross everything out in ink or use whiteout. So I typically use a lot of pencils. So I'm very excited for that too. 
Okay, and the last thing that we have in here, let me move the box. We don't need that anymore. Is the book of the month, which is very tiny. I'm pretty sure the arc. The arc is definitely bigger than the book of the month. Okay, let's check out what it is, shall we? Um, all right, we got some goodies first. Okay, we're just gonna pull everything out because we're professional here, right? Okay. Oh my goodness! The author for the ARC sent a little book, um, book plate. How cute is that? Okay, I feel you. Um, we have the bookmark. Oh my god, this is really nice. This is like a, it almost feels laminated. They, I haven't, to my knowledge, I haven't had like a laminated one. So that's pretty sweet. Okay. Um, we have the little note from the, oh my god. We have a note from the author of the ARC again. So we have like double essentially. So we have like, cause I'm pretty sure the book that we got is also signed. So we have like the letter from the author of the arc plus a book plate. And then we have a letter from the author of the actual book plus it being signed. I don't know. Okay. I'm just being amazed here, guys. We have this little print. Yep. Here's the, the note from the author. Um, Sarah Harian. All right. What's the book? I have never heard of this in my life. Okay, Eight Will Fall by Sarah Harian. Um, I've, I have not had any idea that this was going to be in this box. Unfortunately, I don't know if this is a debut. I've never heard of the book. I've never heard of the author. So I can't even talk about what it is. Um, it says, 17-year-old Larkin is an empath born with the ability to sense the emotions of others and siphon them to either conjure or destroy. Okay, that sounds cool. <laughs> um, so it looks like it's a high fantasy uh, where magic is illegal and um, maybe just trying to, to take down the kingdom, maybe. I mean, the classic YA arc, uh, YA arc, YA story, I guess. This thing is so slippery. I don't know if this is like... The cover does not fit, like, well on it. I don't know if it's just because, but, like, look at that bad boy. Okay. Um, but, yeah, I'm excited. I mean, this is signed by the author, too, so that's exciting. Um, I have, no, I guess I've never heard of it, but um, it looks like it's a very quick read, possibly, under 400 pages. Okay. There we are. As a reminder... Those are the two books we got in this fairy loot, plus all the other goodies. I will have a picture of everything up on my Instagram, um, probably around the same time that I post this video. So if you see this video, my Instagram post is probably up or vice versa. Um, but yeah, I'm, I hope this went well. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. I just got excited. I wanted to share this with you, and I hope that you enjoyed whatever it comes of this. Um, like I said, down below, if you like these kind of unboxing videos, please let me know. Um, if you do, that would encourage me to create more. If I don't get feedback, eh, maybe I'll just like wait, or maybe I'll include it in my book hauls if I do them as I do them, I guess. I don't know. I'm probably not going to do monthly book hauls, but maybe I will. I don't know. Anyway, guys, uh, it's been nice chatting with you. Uh, talk to me down below in the comments. And otherwise, until next time, I'll see you then. Bye.